Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. A couple days ago, I was at the Dollar Tree and uh, while I was there picking up a few things um, for an event that's going on this weekend, I walked down the makeup aisle and I thought, you know what? Why don't I just get a full face of makeup and film it for you guys? So that's what we are doing today. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Medium, tan, deep, light. Got a contour kit. Luckily, if none of this stuff works, you'll have to just give it to my daughter. You know, I've got some wet and wild brushes. Hey! So they really don't have much to choose from um, foundation-wise. Like dark, 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 dark. Oh, there's a light. It's probably going to be too light, but we can get it. All right, y'all, I am going to start by just putting my hair back in this headband. Um, I know my hair looks a little crazy, but it's too hot to be blow drying my hair and doing all that. So, wavy with some uh, gel is how it's going to be today. So, um, I'm first going to go in with this e.l.f. Glow Mist and Set. I know that it's this is not from the Dollar Tree, but I always, always go in with this before I do my makeup. I am considering doing my eyes first just because I don't know if there's going to be some fallout from the shadows so that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I pretty much got a full face. The only thing that I couldn't find is a powder because all they had was medium and dark. Nothing medium or dark about this skin tone. And then they didn't have a concealer other than like the color correctors, you know, that were like purple or whatever, but I didn't need that. So I'm going to be going in with this um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer just to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to tap this out. Um, I did pick up a few brushes, so I will be using some of those. And then, of course, I'll just be using my, you know, affordable brushes as well if I need something more than what I got. Um, I personally love the Dollar Tree. This is not the first time that I've bought makeup from the Dollar Tree and I ain't mad about it. I love the Dollar Tree. I mean, I really do. I get all my fall decor from there. It's a dollar, you know? I mean, if it breaks, just buy another one next year. So, I'm just, I really do love the Dollar Tree. I think that they have such cute stuff, and sometimes you would be amazed about what you would find there. The only thing that I wouldn't buy from there is probably food, um, unless it was, like, chips or, like, something like that. But they move it on up. They actually have, like, frozen food section, but that's a little sketchy. I ain't doing that. So I'm first going to go in with this L.A. Colors um, Trio in the shade is Orchid. I did swatch this shade already. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that and just set my eyelid with um, the lightest color here. Just to lay that, or set that concealer down. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with this, um, actually no, I'm going to go in with this brush that I just set my lids with. And I'm going to go in with the LA Colors Contour Kit. And I'm just going to go into that brown shade right there and use this as a transition shade because the little palette that I got, the little trio, does not have a transition shade. I almost feel like I need my taller mirror, but we just want to make it work. I don't want to, like, have the mirror all in the way, so. All right, just blend that into my crease. I just realized another thing that I didn't get was blush, and I could have swore that I threw it in the buggy, but apparently I didn't. I don't know what happened to it. It's probably still in the buggy, um, <laughs> but I remember picking one out, and I thought, oh, this is pretty, but honestly, maybe I did put it back, and I just don't remember. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
All right, I'm then gonna take this Wet n Wild. It's just a fluffy blending brush. I cannot talk. Um, I do like that these brushes have, you can't really see it, but it's like a little divot right there. So your thumb fits perfectly. But I'm gonna go into this medium kind of chocolatey brown shade and just start building that up in my outer V. So this is not a tutorial, I'm just, you know, telling you guys what I'm doing and chatting with you guys. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know me personally and you don't follow me on my social media accounts, well, Instagram really, I don't ever mention my Facebook, but um, my daughter started kindergarten last week and it's been very hard for me. Um, Riley has been with me every day since she was a baby and I don't know, it's just it's very hard for me to let go, um, but she loves school, loves it. She's having so much fun. She has met so many friends, and she comes home every day so excited to tell me about her day and everything that they've done, and um, her teacher is super sweet, very, very nice lady, and Riley seems to really like her, which is always good. I was worried, you know, about what teacher she would get, but the one that she got is super sweet, so... But um, I'm actually going to head out in just a little bit to go get her from school. And um, I'm, I'm excited to hear about her day. So hopefully they did a lot of stuff today and hopefully she'll tell me about it. Someday she comes home and she's like, I don't want to tell you about my day. It's a secret. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, whatever you want to tell me, dear. I feel like that this shade is not really... It might be this brush, like, you can see it in the crease, but I'm going to take my little, this is just an e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush, but it's a little more tightly packed, so I'm going to take a little bit more of this brown and uh, see if I can build it up a little bit more. Sorry if you hear my, it's actually looking like it's about to rain, which I'm hoping it doesn't because I don't like driving in the rain. Honestly, I think that's as good as we're going to get. I'm then going to take this kind of shimmery shade in the palette. Nobody uses this. I'm just going to take it on my finger and put that all over my lid. I'm actually, I think I'm going to switch my mirrors out. I know you're probably going to be, oh yeah, you're, you can see it. Okay, yeah. Well, it's just, I'm just going to use it for just a second. So I'm sorry that it's in the camera, but it's fine. Um, I think this shade would apply probably a little better if I wet it. Might be a little bit more pigment. So I'm going to take, where is it? My, actually I'll just take this one. I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of that elf spray. And then dip it in there. And then see if that helps. These shadows are not horrible. But I mean, they're not the best either. But it was a dollar, you know. It's not that serious. I am glad that I did my eyes first because I do have quite a bit of fallout underneath. It's almost like this, this shimmery shade looked a certain color. And then once I scraped that top layer off, it like changed a little bit. Is that weird? It's probably because it was a dollar. Okay. That's going to be good for now. And then I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and just dust away all of that fallout. They didn't really have much to choose from as far as brows, but I did pick up this LA Colors Brow Tint. Um, and dark blonde, I have a feeling it's going to be too dark because I typically wear like taupe and this looks like it's going to be a little more, maybe like gray. Let me swatch it. I mean, it definitely has some pigment there. So I'm going to go in with a very light hand because, yeah. Well, if you need a dark blonde, 
I brought Joe. Dollar Tree's got your back. Very pigmented. I'm trying to go in with a light hand. I'm going to go back in with a spoolie though and kind of soften it up. But anyways, I feel like this month is flying by, you guys. And I ain't mad about it because I'm ready for fall. I am not a summer lover. I've never liked summer. I mean, it's fun going to the beach and the pool and this and that. But by like June, I'm over it and I'm ready for pumpkins and cooler temperatures and football and my birthday and all of that good stuff. My anniversary is in September, so um, we're really excited about that. We're hoping this year we can actually take a trip for our anniversary because... We never went on a honeymoon, so it'd be nice to do that. Um, I did pick up some of this cookie dough flavor chapstick because, hello, it's cookie dough. I'm just going to throw some of that on because my lips are so chapped, you guys. So chapped. Okay. I'm going to get that mirror out of the way. Move this little one back over here. Okay, then I'm going to take um, just a fluffy brush. Well... Where is my brush that I use? I really should have had all this stuff laid out already, but it is what it is. I'm just going to go in with that lightest shade that we used earlier and highlight my brow bone. I mean, it definitely has some pigment. I mean, the shadows, are, they're really not horrible. I mean, would I go to this palette again? No, probably not. I'm probably going to give it to Riley and let her play with it. And that was kind of my whole outlook on this. If I get all this Dollar Tree makeup and it sucks, no big deal. Give it to Riley. She can put it in her little makeup bag and, and play. Riley loves makeup. She always has. <laughs> she just like her mama. All right. And then I'm just going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend out the edges. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the foundation, and I picked up the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation and Light. Um, they didn't have many colors to choose from, which obviously is the Dollar Tree. So they had like light, medium, and dark. That's it. So I'm interested to see how this will be. I also picked up the Sassy, Sassy and Chic Sponge. I have bought this before, and it was hard as a rock. I mean... It was awful. Even when I wet it, it didn't expand. But I will say that this one feels much more bouncy and like it's going to work better. So actually, let me go wet it because I forgot to. So I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. And it actually expanded pretty big. I mean, for a dollar. Okay. So, okay, yeah. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to put, it's a squeezy tube. I don't like that. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand because this is, looks kind of thick and I certainly don't want to look caked face. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be about light coverage, which I'm totally fine with because I don't need a whole lot of coverage. I don't have a whole lot to cover up. I do have some redness here. Um, I tend to get super red in the summertime because again, I'm always hot and I might even be a little sunburnt because I did my um, walk this morning when I got back from taking Riley to school and it was already dying hot outside and I normally remember to put my moisturizer on with SPF in the morning and I didn't remember it today, but it's fine. But I usually always, always wear an SPF because I burn, I don't tan. Okay, I actually think I need a little bit more just maybe like a half a pump or a squeeze. Take that on my forehead. I mean, it's very, very light coverage. Um, I would say that it, you could probably build it up, but I'm not really that worried about that because, number one, I'm about to go sit in the car line to pick up Riley. Anybody going to see me? And number two, again, it's hot as crap here in Georgia. I don't care about having no full coverage foundation on. Now, if I was like a night out or something, like obviously I wouldn't use this, but for just, you know, a quick little touch of makeup, you know, just so you look a little bit put together, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. 
My skin is pretty sensitive, but I'm just going to take whatever's left and put it on my neck. Um, but as I was saying, my skin is pretty sensitive, so I'm hoping that I don't break out from this. I don't think that I will. And by break out, I mean like just red bumps, not necessarily like acne. I've never really struggled with acne. Um, I didn't get a blush. It's cool. I also, again, mentioned that I didn't get a setting powder. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And, oh, I'm going to do um, concealer. Duh, Shannon. I'm just going to take a little bit of that Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I'm only going to conceal under my eyes. And right here on my nose, because that's where I get red. And then a little bit right here. And then right here. I'll take a little bit of my chin. Why not? Why not? All right, let's blend that out. I'm trying to blend out quickly because I know that I can tend to get um, real chatty Cathy in these videos and then they're like 20 minutes long. So I'm trying to not talk that much through them. I'm sorry I'm looking down. I just want to make sure I can see what I'm doing and I'm blending this all out. We are all blended. I honestly feel like the sh eyeshadow is like disappearing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think it's pretty cool though. I mean, it was a dollar. It'll be all right. All right. Again, just going to go in with that Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. And this is super affordable. I think it's maybe about $3. Maybe something like that. I'm just going to take that everywhere that I put concealer. I feel like I have a little bit of a breakout or something going on right here. I don't know. Hmm. All right, all right. Let me wipe that off. I just realized that I had a face primer and I didn't use it. It's fine. I'll save that for another video. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Um, 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 okay. I didn't get a bronzer, so I'm going to go in with this really big fluffy brush honestly i don't even know what brand this is my husband got these for me one christmas and i'm going to go into that contour shade very lightly and tap it off i'm just going to bronze up the cheeks a little bit it's not bad it's not looking like muddy or anything i just i don't want it to be too heavy because this is a pretty dark contour shade i mean for it to be light so, I'm just going to really try to go in with a light hand. Like I said, I didn't get a blush, so we just ain't doing blush today. It's all good. Honestly, as red as my cheeks are, I don't need no blush. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's take that down. My jawline. Had the double chin I got going on. I uh, honestly think no matter how much weight I lose, I feel like I'm always going to have a double chin. Anybody else? Anybody else feel that way? Okay. Actually, I am going to take just a little bit more and go along my nose just to give it some color, you know, so we look proportioned. Okay. All right, next up, I'm going to go in with the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. Um, I don't like pencil eyeliner, so I'm interested to see how this is going to do. Hopefully, it actually gives off some pigment. I normally don't tug on my eye, but because this isn't going on as smoothly as I would like, I am gonna just kind of pull it on my eye a little bit. Just to get this on. Um, this edge is like really sharp. I'm actually kind of scared to tight line with it. I don't want to poke my eyeball out. I know uh, tight lining is not very flattering to watch, you guys, so you can feel free to skip past this part. <laughs> okay. So far, so cool. Um, okay, I, oh, I just realized that I didn't use this brush. It's okay. It's okay. We'll use it to, um, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. So I'm going to go in with the LA Colors Highlight in Shine Bright. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. 
just a little bit. This highlight is really pretty. I'm interested to see how it looks on the cheeks. Okay. Um, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let me go in and do my lash line, my under my lash line. Just going to take this BH Cosmetics flat brush, going to pick up that dark brown shade that we use in the middle and just run this under my lash line. It is like super hot in this room. I don't know why it is always hot. There's literally a huge oak tree right outside of this window. And, you know, the limbs kind of like hang over so you think that it would be shady. No. It's hot. All right, then I'm going to go back into that contour kit with my Morphe M431 and just pick up a little bit of that, of that contour shade and then just blend that out. Smoke it out as smoky as it'll get to be Dollar Tree makeup. Okay. All right, then I'm going to go in with that highlight again. And um, I don't really, I got this brush because I thought that I had blush, but I don't. So we're not going to do blush today, but I'm going to highlight with it. So I'm just going to pick up a teeny tiny bit. This is a wet and wild brush, just tap it off and then we'll just run it along right here. I mean, this would be, I think this is considered a contour brush, so it would be, you know, fit right in there for contour. Um, but for now, we're just gonna highlight with it. Okay, I see you LA colors. I do feel like it kind of just looks like a stripe almost, you know, but it might be the brush that I'm using. So, all right, then just get a cupid's bow, a little on chin and forehead. That blush, blush brush, oh my God, is not fluffy. So, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush and just blend that out a little bit. Because this, this brush right here would definitely be better for contour. I know that it looks like so bright on camera, but my skin, like I don't look this like bright, like in person. I don't know. Anyways. All right. Now we are going to go in with the Sinful Colors Diva Lash Mascara. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, so it must be new to the Dollar Tree. Um, I honestly haven't met a mascara that doesn't do well for my lashes. My lashes just do well with any mascara. That's just kind of how it's always been, so. I'm just going to go in, I'm probably going to do about two coats per lash, so. I know this part is boring. I'm actually going to just go ahead and keep layering it. I mean, not bad for a dollar mascara, you know what I'm saying? I keep a photograph. Doing my lashes always takes me the longest because I will sit here forever and ever and ever and do them. I'm sorry, I keep holding the mirror up in front of the camera. Okay. Not bad. Not bad for a dollar mascara, y'all. All right, now we're going to go in with the LA Colors Lip Duo in the shade Twinkle. I'm pretty sure this lipstick is broke because I can tell that it's like smeared up here. You can tell it's done moved around, but it's fine. Um, yeah, it's leaning, so it is broke. I'm just going to go in with my lip brush from BH Cosmetics and apply it this way. Ooh. Uh-uh. Don't like this. I'm not even going to take it on top because that is like very bubblegum pink and I'm not feeling that so let's see if the gloss is better um there's not much gloss in here I will say but I mean again it's only a dollar so oh this gloss 
smells amazing and it smells like a candy but I can't I know banana laffy taffy that is exactly what that gloss smells like all right I'm just gonna give my face a little spritz again with this elf glowy mist I was hoping I would find a setting spray at the Dollar Tree because I saw one at another Dollar Tree I was at a couple weeks ago, but then when I went to Dollar Tree that I went to the other day, they didn't have it. So I just said, well, I'll just use an affordable one. But yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, y'all, this is the completed look. What do you guys think? I mean, I probably spent, what, $10 on a full face of makeup, maybe $12. Um, there are a few things that I would use again. Yes, I would use the lip gloss again. The mascara, for sure. Don't know about the face primer because I totally forgot about it. It's cool. I would definitely use the highlight again. And the eyeliner is not bad. I do like the brow gel. If it was just a little bit more my shade, I would like it more. But other than that, I mean, I'm not disappointed. And, you know, I got a full face of makeup for like $10. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.